Okay, front face. Let's get to this. So, what I'm doing here is creating a form for the stem wall bond beam. Um, the stem wall is a two-tire coarse uh, tire wall that acts as a foundation for the south exterior greenhouse glass wall. Um, so, you can see here this bond beam is actually pretty much identical to the bond beam that's on top of the main house tire wall. It's uh, 10 inches wide, 8 inches high. It's got rebar spikes driven into the tire wall to support the horizontal rebar that runs through the length of the bond beam to give it structural integrity. The only difference uh, for the form walls, instead of doing a cement mortar can wall like we did on the main house, I'm doing a two inch rigid foam form here. And uh, the bond beam has to be insulated anyway, so this kind of kills two birds with one stone. You can insulate it and create the form all in one shot. You just don't remove the form um, once it's done. Like if you were doing a wood form, you'd take the, the wood off. In this case, we're just going to leave that insulation on there, and that, and that ends up insulating the bond beam. So I'm just measuring uh, the form to make sure it's 10 inches wide right now. The piece is already cut to 8 inches high, and uh, I'm securing it all with some uh, rebar tie wire. The next step is to pour the concrete into the form. So this is a 3-4-5 ratio concrete mix. That's almost uh, two 5-gallon buckets of gravel, one and a half five 5 5-gallon buckets of sand, and half a bag of cement. And you just uh, throw that into the form with a shovel, like you can see here. And once you get that basically to the top of the form, you just stab it repeatedly with a stick to remove any air pockets or voids um, that might have formed in the pour uh, during the pouring process. Next, you just uh, take a piece of wood and you just tap down the top of the concrete surface to push the aggregate down and pull the water up. And then you just slide that wood over the top to give it a nice smooth surface and level. And lastly, you got to set the anchor bolts into the wet concrete. You want them sticking up about two and a half inches above the top of the bond beam concrete surface. Um, that's to allow enough room to uh, get that to bolt down the first plate of Trex that's going to go right on top here. And you want them pretty much in the center, staggered back and forth just a little bit. Um, think about it, it's a 2 by 6 piece of Trex and you want to hold down each side evenly. Damn, would you look at that. Taos is a damn beautiful place. Just wanted to take a moment to point that out. But what we really should be looking at here is the plating on top of the bond beam. I know this is not the best picture, but unfortunately it's the only one I really have right now. Um, if you look in the lower right, you can see the two pieces of tracks plated on top of that bond beam. That bottom piece of tracks is bolted down with the anchor bolts of the bond beam, and the piece of tracks on the second piece of plating on top of that is just screwed and nailed down onto the first piece of plating. Um, we've gone over that in a previous video, so you can refer to that if you want some more information. First thing you need to get is the point on the top plating where you want the strut to come up to. So once you get that point, you put a roofing nail in there and you hang the plumb bob down. Then you get square from your plating with a framing square, extend that out with a level, and then meet the plumb bob at the end. And then you have your two points from plating to the, from the bottom plating to the top plating where you need to run your strut. You can see here where I have uh, two string lines uh, going from bottom plate to top plate and I have one of my struts in that matches that string line perfectly. What you want to do also is just put a level up to the side of that strut to make sure that it is it's plumb according to the level not just to the that rigged up plumb bob situation. And then you just nail each side in and you go all the way across the entire face here.